All right, I'll call this video Confluence Number Two. Uh, where I left off at, I was saying because of the selection and possible uh, false flags in the future and the whole dark winter thing and a blackout, just like the Zypher thing, they must have just pushed it back because they got to, you know, do their little pantomime, their little acting out of the whole selection debacle and. You know, they have to make it look like it's a, a real thing. We know it's not. I mean, Trump's just saying everything and doing everything his handlers tell him to. I mean, he has to at this point. Um, you know, he's playing his role. He, he just has a role to play, just like Biden. They're playing their role. But we're building up to a time when there's going to be, like, false flags and maybe some real biological problems. And, you know, perhaps, a, a, well, not a perhaps, it is. I mean, we're going to have the economy collapse. We're going to have the finances, the markets, and everything go with it. Tyranny always rises when economics always bottom out, so keep that in mind. So these concentration camps and everything, they'll be open uh, around the time the economy collapses. But bear in mind that for, you know, Joe and Jane Q citizen, things are not going to be nice, um, you know, if we're here from here on out. We're entering a time when it's going to start getting dangerous to leave your home because under the screen of civil unrest, you're going to see a lot of stuff going on. There's going to be all these different fifth column elements and... You know, uh, there's going to be foreign uh, uh, sleepers and, you know, they were practicing the, the, the dark elements of the, of the deep regime were practicing, you know, in Austin. They were putting uh, back in like late summer, they were putting um, suspicious people on rooftops, probably tra practicing to do like they did in Ukraine. So it's going to be dangerous just walking down the street. This is going to turn into Ukraine or former Yugoslavia, maybe Iraq or Afghanistan, or, or, or a combination of all, it's not going to be safe, you know, because there's going to come a point in time when you're going to leave your home, and it's going to be very dangerous to do so. Um, and it's just going to get worse from there. Um, the regime will probably only have enough forces domestically to um, take care of, like, D.C. and, like, state capitals, military towns, stuff like that, and maybe the border areas, but they're not going to have enough troops to deal with all the stuff that's going on. You know, they're not going to be able to hold down major cities. That is when you're going to see your foreign invasion. Now, when foreign com troops come in, all bets are off.